there are stars, superstars, and then there's Pablo Sanchez. Was as good an athlete as the country has seen probably since Jim Thorpe. To me, he's the greatest athlete of the 20th century. There's not even an argument there. Every two or three days, he would do something to make you just kind of scratch your head and say, man, I don't know if I saw that right, you know? He was the first superhero of my generation. Something mythical about everything that he did. Home run for Pablo Sanchez. He was excitement incarnate. He was untouchable. He was just better than everybody else. All we saw was a man doing things that we had no idea were humanly possible. I speak English. Then out of nowhere, he was gone. He was one of the last athletes who the information about him was anecdotal, that you wouldn't necessarily see the things you heard about them, but there was kind of like this legendary, kind of like Paul Bunyan description around him. He was this larger than life ideal. And the stories were always very vivid because not only were they amazing, they were often very weird. I saw him, myself, jump over a Volkswagen. I saw him. He's standing in water, just standing there, up to, up to about his thighs. And all of a sudden, he just jumps out of the water, another backflip. My girlfriend said, do you see that? I said, yeah, I saw that. You have the story of him, uh, you know, throwing rocks at the minister's pig and killing the minister's pig. It's kind of a weird story that he got nicknamed Bo because he killed boars. That's right, he got in trouble for killing a bunch of boars. I remember vaguely hearing about boar, you know, the boar hog type stories, but I, I really don't know anything about that. The things he did were so incredible and so unbelievable that people want to talk about them. People want to keep that stuff alive. There was always the idea that potentially he could do something that would be completely unbelievable. And he didn't even have to necessarily do these things for people to assume that they were true. Anything that you hear about Pablo, I would probably tell you 99% of it is true. And he's fun to think about. He's fun to remember. And I think he enjoyed elevating that myth. He enjoyed playing around with it a little bit. I think he still enjoys playing around with it. I think all of that is part of who he is. <laughs>